Several interesting and unique classes are offered at a fair grove that do not get the credit they deserve. In computer science with Mr. Van Cleve, you are basically taught a new language. While in advanced art, you can gain the ability to make unique and beautiful art that will wow people in many ways. So in computer science, we learn how to write code in Java. Java is a programming language, so you learn specifically how to write code in Java. You also learn a lot of basic computer science principles that will help you code in other languages. If you have any interest whatsoever in going into a technological field, you're going to have to have uh, computer programming under your belt. So um, I give a basic speech to you that says, do you like money? If you can do this, um, then you can get a really high paying job anywhere you want. I enjoy watching the kids, um, you know, when we get to the more, after, in second semester we get to the more complex um, type of coding activities and watching them kind of struggle a little bit. Um, but then get that satisfaction when they finally solve a problem and figure out how to make your code work. So I'd recommend this class to underclassmen because it's a good way to find out what you enjoy. If you have a slight niche for computers, then it's definitely something you should try because it's a lot of computer-based stuff and can get you to understand more about that field. So it all just depends what you're into overall. And yeah, it's with Van Cleef, so of course it's going to be a fun class. So I'd have to say the biggest benefit of joining computer science would be that you get an overall aspect of like what you enjoy. So if you enjoy coding like I do, it'll definitely get you motivated and try and do that in college a little bit more. I hope my students leave the end of the year feeling more experienced and knowledgeable and whatever it is that they were really focusing on. Some kids really like to paint, so they practice doing a couple of like watercolor paintings through the year. Some kids really want to work with clay, so they try to get better with their skill set at ceramics. So I just hope that they utilize this class for the portfolio class that it is and they leave feeling like they are more of an accomplished artist than when they started. I don't know that I really have a favorite. Advanced Art in general is my favorite class to teach probably because they do so many creative and fun projects on their own because it's a portfolio class. So they've made some really neat sculptures this year. They've had some really cool ceramics projects that are large and more sculptural than what we usually do in the normal class. I've loved the paintings they've done. All you have to do is go out in the hall and look in their display case and you'll see all the really neat things that they're up to. So just in general, um, I don't really have a favorite project. I just love the concepts and ideas they come up with. Ava Moore is a student at Fairgrove High School that is involved in many things outside of school that are a rare occurrence here in our small town. One of the interesting things about her is that she can speak fluently in different languages. The languages I can speak are Hindi, Dutch, Romanian, French, and English. What got me into speaking different languages is um, actually my parents. They're fluent in a lot of languages and in their work they have to travel and they use that a lot. And so I guess that's the main part of it. And I also just love traveling, so it's pretty useful. Learning and understanding a new language takes a lot of time and effort. Ava took the initiative to teach herself and explained to us the process. So how I learn the other languages, because I'm self-taught, is I'll usually like watch sitcoms that are filmed in those different countries using their own language. And then I just watch it with English subtitles. So I'm more fluent in English and French. And then I'm like pretty close to fluent in Hindi, Romanian, Dutch. If you're interested in learning a language that Fairgrove doesn't offer, you can download Duolingo and they will provide you with lessons and other resources to help you on your journey. Je suis Charlotte de journée, c'est en français. Et la route de venir, c'est qu'il y a un petit hindi. J'aurais écrit un reste de prendre la session et réjouissant. À deux jours de cause, on doit développer le drunk. Elle a été en guérison, elle est très 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 Due to COVID-19, students have been required to wear a mask not only during school, but during after school activities too. Recently, Mr. Stallings announced that students must make sure to wear their mask properly during pep club. 
So I understand why masks are like needed in the pep club because if we wear them at school, we probably need to wear them in the pep club too. But I mean, me personally, I don't enjoy wearing one. Uh, as for the question of whether or not our students are wearing masks following mask guidelines at games in the pep club, as of right now, it's like a lot of our kids don't seem to be wearing as good as they should be. So we're really asking that they are wearing those masks at the games, uh, social distancing as best they can. We're putting a lot of pressure on you, on you students, but I mean that's what we want to do. So in order for us to be there at those games, how we're enforcing it. Once again, it comes down to you guys. Like, we, we, nobody in this school wants to ask anybody to leave, ask anybody to get kicked out of the game. But we definitely want to be, uh, we definitely want to follow the guidelines that we've set, the guidelines uh, set by our state and everything, just keeping people safe. So, masks are super important, I get that. And we, uh, we're required during the pep club. And I get that, I get everything about that. I know it's affected so many people and their families. But coming from a perspective of a high school student, sitting in the pep club, trying to go crazy, you know, the mask gets annoying. And I'm not saying it's awful or terrible, but I could do without it. So wear your mask. Come to the games, but wear your mask. Stay social distance and have a great time.